IT certifications versus college degrees. Which is better for an IT career? So, you're considering a career in information technology and have to decide what kind of training is best for you. When you started your research, you probably felt swamped by all of the options that pop up. In reality, there are really just two major ways that future IT pros get the training they need to become qualified for an IT career. IT certifications or a college degree in information technology. How do you know which one is right for you? Here we will weigh the two options and uncover which path is the best one. What exactly is an IT certification? IT certification is a training process that occurs either in person or online. Over the course of generally a couple of months, you'll learn the ins and outs of specific programs in order to obtain a high level of IT skills. Some of the IT certifications are vendor specific, for example, from Microsoft. And some of the IT certifications are vendor neutral, for example, from CompTIA. Once you have completed the training program, you will have to take an exam to ensure that you have a firm grasp of the material. This is a great way for potential employers to know that you have mastered the IT systems they use for their company. What do I need to know about IT college degrees? When it comes to a degree in information technology, they go by several names. In addition to a college degree in information technology, some colleges name their IT programs things like computer science, business technology, and several others. You can earn an IT degree at all levels of college instruction. IT Associate's Degree An associate's degree is generally a two-year degree and often earned from a community college. Completion of an associate's degree will generally lead you to an entry-level position in an IT career. You can then build upon your degree with industry experience. Note that an associate's degree will only allow you to rise so high in the IT field. IT Bachelor's Degree A bachelor's degree in information technology is a four-year degree earned from a college or university. Completion of a bachelor's degree will often lead to a mid-level position in the IT field. The curriculum in a bachelor's program is considerably more rigorous than that of an associate's program, so you will learn more over the course of study. This will prepare you for more growth once you begin your career. IT Master's or Doctoral Degrees If you have visions of high-level IT positions, specifically as a manager, director, or a specialist in a specific area of IT, a graduate IT degree might be best for you. Master's programs are between two to three years, and most doctoral programs are a minimum of four years, in some cases five to six. Graduate degrees in IT are for those people who plan to rise to the highest ranks in an IT company or government position. Note that most people who earn a graduate degree in this area often pair it with certifications. Strengths of an IT certification Information technology certifications have a number of benefits and perks. Possibly the biggest strength is that there are a number of employers who now prefer certifications to college degrees because certifications require an assessment or test that proves you have a mastery of the material. Employers will have confidence that you know what you are doing. Another great aspect of most certification courses is that you have the ability to work at your own pace. The best certification programs allow you to create a timeline that works for you. Some of the additional strengths include IT certificates help you land jobs. Earning a certificate in the most cutting-edge areas of IT makes you an attractive candidate to potential employers. By earning one or more, you can prove to employers that you have the skills they are looking for. Certification in various areas of information technology also broadens your career options. For example, there are companies and employment sectors, like the federal cybersecurity sector, that will only consider IT pros with certification. IT certificates lead to higher salaries. By earning a certification, technology professionals often earn considerably higher salaries than their non-certified counterparts. There are certifications that can help you earn upwards of $130,000 annually. According to Global Knowledge's 2017 IT Skills and Salary Survey, in 2017 there were more than 10 IT certifications that earned more than $100,000 annually. IT certificates help you as a consultant. 
Not all IT professionals want to march right in and get a job working for someone else. There is a rising percentage of the IT workforce that plans to, or already work, as an independent contractor or consultant. Freelance IT professionals are a growing group that work for themselves instead of a corporation or government agency. Having certifications in the areas you plan to work helps show potential clients that you are an expert. That can help you earn more business. IT certificates can lead to promotions. Perhaps you already work in the field and can't seem to rise any higher than you have been for years. Adding a certification to your resume might be the thing you need to shake up your career. Working towards a certification can pay off big when you earn a promotion. Weaknesses of an IT certification With the ups come the downs. There are a limited number of weaknesses of IT certification. Since many of these programs are offered solely online, it is very important to earn yours from a source that's reputable. Here's the problem. Not all training programs are designed equally. There are an unfortunate number of programs available that do not have the rigor or robustness that you need to be successful in your IT career. Another weakness of choosing certification over a college degree is that there are some employers that still want to see that college degree on your resume. Strengths of an IT college degree A college degree has been around for so many years it seems like the standard for an IT career. Traditionally, if you plan to enter a white collar career, you graduate high school and head right to college. Because the system has been a long time tradition, some employers won't consider someone without a college degree. This means that if you have your college degree and a little experience, you might be the candidate that rises to the top. One more benefit to a college degree in information technology is that many programs will now give you college credits for professional experience that you already have. Weaknesses of an IT college degree the flip side of the coin is that there are many employers that now prefer those with certifications. This seems to be a shift experienced throughout the IT field. Lower salary. One more drawback is that IT pros with a college degree make less money on average than those with pertinent certifications. Some studies indicate that those with certifications earn significantly more than those with a college degree, perhaps as much as 75% more. College takes time. Probably the biggest drawback is that you have to complete an entire course of study. College programs come with a list of requirements that must be completed before graduation. In addition to your science and tech courses, you will also have to fulfill language, social science, and several other requirements to earn your degree. This doesn't appeal to everyone. Which is better for an IT career? In reality, there are employers who will move your resume to the no pile just because you do not have a college degree. There will be a similar number who do the same because you lack certifications. What surveys have shown is that most employers are trending towards favoring IT certifications over a college degree. Because IT certificate courses can rapidly change as the technology changes, they have a competitive edge over college programs that are a little slower to respond. Changing the curriculum of an online course is much simpler than adapting an entire college course. Since more employers are looking for certifications in the areas of technology they use, this seems to be the preferable route. Another emerging trend is that potential employees with IT certifications earn more money than those who don't. So not only will these certifications move you to the top of the pile of candidates, they will also help you advance in your career and earn top dollar. The bottom line. If you have the time and the resources to earn your college degree, then complementing it with relevant certifications will be the ideal scenario. Unfortunately, most of us live in the real world with limits to our time and money. In order to get the most bang for your buck and reach greater heights in your career, IT certifications will help you get there quicker. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.